Okay, welcome back. I am Mr. Sean. This is my channel, and we are going through the visual novel Love at First Sight. We had just fed, oh my gosh, we just fed our Sachi, a little Cyclops, who is the anyway. So we just fed Sachi and some cute, beautiful, cute, cute, adorable CG graphics on those. And finish with that. And the lunch break is over. So let's continue on. Already, huh? I guess we didn't take a while. I guess we did take a while to eat. Uh, I guess so. Oh, let me give you back the manga I bought. I bought all the ones I finished. Cool. I'll pick out the ones. I'll pick out the next ones in the series for you when I see you again. So thank you. We gather up an empty lunchbox and the manga and start heading down the stairs to the classroom as Sachi follows me. Hey, why don't we walk home together again after school? It's not too, too much trouble for you, I mean. It's nice to have a friend who lives nearby. Sure, sure, I'd be happy to. The face lights up with genuine excitement, even though we've only known each other for about a week. I don't know how we ended up doing things like going to and from school and eating lunch together, but if it makes Sachi happy, why should I care how it happened? Most of all, if being together makes her happy, then I'm happy too. <clears throat> End of the day, school's almost over. As I return to my classroom after lunch, oh, lunch bell, okay. I realized something. I'm happy that we promised to go home together, but we never chose a place to meet after we parted ways. Oh. If I waited by the gates like last time, she'd probably come by, but Sawakawa might also be around. Maybe I should take a peek into the classroom instead. As I'm trying to decide, the, the bell rings. Finally signaling the end of the day's classes. I take my bag and hurry towards Sachi's classroom. Okay, end of the day. That's what those bells were. I rush down the stairs. As I reach the first floor, I can see that the first years are already filing out of their class. I quicken my pace towards Sachi's classroom. In the moment I step in front of one of the classroom doors, someone flies out into me. The impact knocks both of us off balance. Just as she's about to go down, I reflexively reach out to catch her. Everything okay? Uh, excuse me, huh? Senpai. The student who just flew to my arms and who I am now holding on to tightly is none other than Sachi. We stare at each other at an astonishment. Then I see another student behind Sachi who is also looking on in astonishment. Sadakawa Rui. Did she push Sachi out the door? Now I know she's the reason Sachi had no lunch today. And she's so happy to see me. Sadakawa's surprise expression turns soon to anger. She glares at me menacingly as she starts to speak. Who the hell are you? Some upperclassman? Yeah, second year. But she just let this get in the way of her anger. Oh, really? Hey, what are you doing on the first floor? I came to see Sachi. For a moment, Sadakawa looks surprised again as she sizes the two of us up. Sachi regains her balance as she separates herself from me. And she takes a step back, retreating from Sadakawa's presence. She's not trying to run away, though. Is it because I'm here? Her eye darts back and forth nervously. Her? Are you staring? Are you starting a freak show, Senpai? If you think it's okay to force your friends into freak shows, you're really messed up. That's really pitiful. This girl's more prickly than I imagined. Naturally, my insult just annoys her more. I'm not sure this if that actually got to her or not, but she pins a hostile glare at me. Oh yes. Well, excuse me. She doesn't have any talents to display. Dressing her up as a clown would only disgust people. Of course, you are right. This is sincerely polite words that Sadakawa spits at me, dripping with venom and malice. And this is what made a Kenny snap. I don't blame her. I think she's more. I think she's more suited to the role of heroine than a clown. Her, at best, this one's. One eyed thing that looks like it stepped out of a fairy tale will become some wretched beggar on the streets. And you are officially a douchebag. Yeah? Maybe she did step out of a fairy tale. If I had to guess, I would say it was Cinderella. She definitely played by something like an evil stepsister. You know that story, right? Killing it! <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. But if you're casting part, I think I'd rather be a fairy godmother who turns the pumpkin into a carriage. Making Cinderella get run over by her carriage would be a pretty neat twist, don't you think? <sighs> All 
our verbal duel continues for quite a while. She's wearing a vicious grin on her face, the fire in her eye grows hotter and hotter. I can feel the heat in her stare. I refuse to look away, however, and I feel like the friction of our class clashing gazes might set the whole hallway ablaze. Senpai. Sachi tugs on my sleeve, pulling me back to reality. Several students seem to have gathered around us to watch our fight. Here I am, a lone second-year student, in front of the first-year classrooms, completely out of place. I should not be drawing this much attention to myself. Sorry. Let's go, Sachi. Take Sachi's hand and turn my back on Sadakawa. I'm still pissed, and I want to turn around and go after her again. Sadakawa stays quiet. And there's no reason to re-engage her. If, you, if you're walking away, just get out of there. Uh, that's... No, no. There's no reason to keep continuing on with that crap. Sorry about that just now. I really made a fool of myself. We leave the school at a hurried pace, but once we're outside the gate to start heading home, we slow down a bit. No, no, it's okay. You can't be right when I fell. You protect me from Sadakawa son. Thank you for that. It's probably not my business, but if you're having trouble and need help, you can ask me anytime. Thank you. Not to reply after a short pause, looking somewhat puzzled. We might have become friends, but I guess we're not close enough for her to be comfortable trusting me with that sort of thing yet. You know, anything you need, I just want to help. Okay. By the way, if you like the books I gave you, I have some more from that author. Oh, really? I changed the subject to a lighter topic. Going home together should be more fun than this. At the very least, I want to see her smile more while we're together. I think those are the ones I should lend you next. Do you want to read them? And I saw a little bit of blushing going on here. Sure, that sounds great. I look great forward to it. And... <laughs> oh! Oh, so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Seeing eye to eye. Oh, that was so cute. That... Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I, I just would say I, I have no idea why, but uh, for some reason, from the Monster Girls I've seen in anime, Cyclopses have been the cutest ones of all. I mean, even like Monster Musume. Um, ah, what's her name? Mad Mad Madoka, I believe. I have to double check. Um, of all the monsters in that one, I like the Cyclops girl. That's, I mean, it helps that she's a kick butt sniper as well, but. You know, I don't know. It's just the one, when, when she went out on the town with the, the the main character and she dressed up so cutely. Oh my gosh! I don't know. I just I like Cyclops. It's it's sort of weird. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Let's continue on with the story. This story here. This story. This story is much more important, more interesting. Okay. After two weeks have passed, I met Sachi for lunch on the stairway that led to the roof every day. And she's gone through countless manga and novels. We've also gone to and from school together when we could. Tachi hasn't asked for help since the day I offered it to her. But even still, every now and then I go around to the classroom to meet her. Of course, I try not to draw attention to myself anymore. I just go to retrieve Sachi as quick as I can. Even though Sachi's free from Sadakawa, I think she's still worried about being bullied. I mean, you can't be there all the time. I mean, there's, there's bound to be times where she's not going to be there to help her. That's for sure. I mean, it's, it's just a fact of life. There's no special, especially noticeable change. Asachi's smile doesn't seem fake like it did before. Little by little, smiling is becoming more natural. What are you smiling about? Mom says. Today, as always, I arrive home after, after walking Asachi to her house, and I run into Mom, who seems to have come out to check the mail. Oh, nothing. Is my face betraying what I'm thinking? I tried to be more neutral, especially as I reply. You've been getting up so early these past few weeks, having fun at school? Mm, something like that. Something, something, something. It's not like we're actually been planning to meet up in the morning. Just keep getting lucky, I guess. But yes, it does mean that I've been getting to school earlier than I used to. The main reason I've been leaving early is that I'd hate to leave with the chance to meet Sachi in the morning slip away. The fact that it's put a stop to my habit of being late is just a nice side effect. Oh, my, my. Not just going to reply to my school life, but mail seems to have caught her attention first. She scans the envelopes and eventually stops on one, separating from the others. She reads it, and after a moment, she finally sighs. What's wrong? I want tickets to a private showing for a new movie, but it's on the same day that we plan to visit some of your father's relatives, so I can't go. A private showing? <laughs> you really hit it big. 
Well, I do enter a lot of those kinds of drawings. Filling out entries and those prizes lotteries is my mom's hobby. She systematically scans the web and fills out every one she can find. Don't do that. No, no, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't. Uh, you never know what, what's a good one and what's a bad one. Don't do that. <laughs> she actually wins quite a few of those private showings, so my dad and I accompany her to them pretty often. You said you have plans for that day. When is it? You usually do everything you can. You usually do everything you can to go to those. It's the Sunday afternoon. These sneak peeks are usually on the weekday nights, but not many people go on Sundays. Hey, can I have those tickets since you and I can't go? Sure, I don't mind. I don't, I don't know if it was good or not, but I still want, don't want to waste the tickets. Great, thanks. Obviously, he's moving on from books, moving on from walking home, and he's graduating to let's go on a date. Yeah, good guy. Uh, I want to check one thing on the one thing on here. Zoom. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> okay, still getting used to this. Okay, and that's how I got the mystery day. Lunchtime, as I eat with Tomo and Akemi, I show them the tickets for the private showing that I got from my mom. Wow, I've never heard of that movie. That looks sure fun. Akemi is practically squealing with delight as she looks over the tickets. Oh, so then now the answer to the question of which of us to invite is is, is neither, I'm guessing. Good guess, Tomo. <gasps> no way! You didn't say that! Bad guess, Akemi. <laughs> What the heck? I totally thought I knew you were going with Where you going with this? No, you're not taking this. Me! I want to see the movie too! Sorry, I only got two tickets. If I invite one of you, that means I have to leave the other one behind. So you're going to invite you know who instead? Yes, Voldemort. I know who. Oh, such a charm. I know who? Why'd you question that? Okay. That's a minor thing, I think. Yeah, so what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You're, no, your tickets, besides, you're the one who knows your relationship with her best. Well, whatever. Sure. Go ahead and invite her. Well, I've never hung out with a girl outside of school. I'm a little nervous. Hello! What about the trip you took to get in the last holiday? Oh! Oh! You're a poor replacement for a girl! Wow! Oh, Mama! No, dude! Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No, what I mean is that whenever we meet, Tomo's you always, always there as well. Okay, but still. Well, yeah, I guess that is true. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you're the one who knows best. She's never going to be comfortable around you again. If you plan to get comfortable here there, that should be enough to convince her, right? Yeah, you're probably right. I guess I should actually find out where we're going first, though, huh? Man, I guess it, it does make sense for you to take Sachi instead of us. I still feel like I'm missing out, though. Well, if Sachi ends up rejecting me, I'll kind of take this up to you two, since at that point, I wouldn't know what to do with him anyway. Huh? You sure? But you could go alone if you want, couldn't you? Yes, it can be. I want to go to alone, all by myself, to the freaking movies. I don't want to take any friends. Screw them all at that point. Maybe, but I do want to, do I want to go alone? Besides, these tickets are in my mom's name. If one of the people that are trying to use them isn't female, they might not accept them at all. Anyway, that's, that's all I'm mute if Sachi agrees to come. Uh huh. I can't make a decision for you, but I can't make a decision for you now that I have a stake in it. Do I want to see the movie, or do I want the day when I find meet Sachi to come sooner? I guess it would be good. What about you, Tomo? If you do hand the tickets off to us, that means I have to spend the day with Kikemi. Which is a pretty tiring prospect. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor girl. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm keen divided between the conversation with Kemi and the conversation with Sachi. It's like, okay, who's the poor girl here? 
We'll see. I'm sure we'll find out more about the Ken, or Sachi, but god dang. Then again, I can't exactly refuse her gen- oh, wrong voice. Then again, I can't exactly refuse your generosity. I am free that day, and going to the movie might be a worthwhile diversion. Wow, I didn't realize you were that excited to go on a date with me, Tomo. Look, I, I'll do it, but do you know how much energy it takes the average human to keep up with you? <laughs> The two keep talking, but I think they've already deeply forgotten what has to happen before they get the tickets. Yeah, thanks for your input, guys. Anyway, I know fun, so I'm going to pray up and go fight Sachi. I sat up and head for the stairwell. And she's there waiting. Ah, from Lord Senpai. What's up? Sachi is yet again, sitting in the same place in the same way as when I first met her. I've been coming up day by day after day each time I leave. It seems like she's a little brighter. It's a little company. Hey, are you doing anything this Sunday? I get right to the point sitting down my own spot. Sunday? No, I don't have any plans. Why do you ask? Well, my mom wanted these sneak peeks for a new movie, but she can't go to it. She gave me the tickets. There's only two, so I wasn't sure what to do with them at first, but... What? A movie? With me? Don't you have any other friends you can invite? It's not that I don't. But I just I don't have enough tickets for both of them. If you refuse, I was just going to give the tickets to them. But I'm asking you if you want to go first. And she's smiling. Yes, of course. Oh, but the movie theater is far away, isn't it? Yeah, but we can just take a train, can't we? Or do you not want to travel that far too far? No, it's it's not that. Just if you take a train, you have to pay for tickets. Doesn't your aunt give you an allowance or something? Not really. I've never asked for it. Are you and your aunt on bad terms? I don't think she really likes me that much, though, to be honest, I'm not really sure. You don't know. Don't you live together? Couldn't you ask for other kind of them or something? No, it's fine. Not really. Um, my family. My mom got sick and died many years ago. As for my dad, I was told he left me when I was very young. Oh, jeez. Your mom. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's been a long time since then. Well, what about your dad? He said you left? No one ever told me what happened. He probably left because of me. I think he must have left right after I was born. I don't have much memory of him. Such his eye seems too dim as she tells me this. I suppose she wouldn't really remember if she was that young when she and he laughed, but I couldn't see a little glimmer. I could see a little glimmer of sadness in her eye when she admitted it. My mom didn't abandon me though. She did her very best to raise me alone. She was a kind mother. It was probably too much for one person to handle though. It took too much toll on her body. And after that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so depressing. No, I I brought it up. I'm the one who should be apologizing. So. Uh, after your last, your aunt took custody of you? Yes, that's right. Aunt Mayumi seemed to be really close to my mom before she died. My mom told Mayumi that she was counting on her to take care of me. That's why she adopted me. Oh, she's adopted, okay. But I'm sure my aunt hates me. She, she just hasn't said anything. She probably blames me for her unhappiness and the death of her beloved sister. You must not like your, you must not like your aunt very much. No, that's not it. I'm grateful to her for taking care of me, but I just don't want to be a nuisance to her. It would be right for me to ask her for something that's selfish spending money. I see. Well, thanks for telling me that. I never had anyone to talk to before, so thank you for listening to me. But you know, I really do want to hang out with you. If you want, I can put up the train and ride and stuff. I don't mind at all. No, no, I couldn't. I want to hang out with you too, but I have to ask my Yumi if I can first. If you have to pay for me, you should just you should just not go. I don't want to be a nuisance to you anyone than to my aunt. I know about your aunt, but you're not being a nuisance to me at all. But, but there's no rush. Why don't you decide after you ask her? Yeah, all right. By the way, since we have got all the way, we have to go all the way to the next town to get to the movie theater. Why don't we get there early so we can just wander around her a bit? The movie starts in the afternoon, so we can get lunch or something. And she's blushing. Um, okay. I somebody's still nervous. Well, you just gotta ask on a date, girl. 
come on, this isn't some future event. We're just going ahead and have a little fun. Listen up. Uh, I'll try. There you go. Well, it reminds me, do you have a cell phone? We should exchange numbers before we forget. It'll be useful in case we want to get in touch with each other later. Oh, yes, I carry one in case of emergencies. Someone such takes out his agent, but she fumbles with it awkwardly. It's really plain, too. Not a single stick or anything. Not even one of those silly straps. Um, how do I do this? I think you have to press this. She must not use much. In fact, it looks like she barely knows how to use it at all. I guess that worked. Thank you. Kind of think, kind of think of it. What's the movie about? Oh, right. I should have told you before. It's some movie from Germany. It doesn't look like some huge adventure. More like a drama, I guess. Though the story's pretty light, so maybe it's more like comedy. Take the fire that came with, with the tickets out of the park with Soshachi. Ooh, that looks interesting. I've never seen it, so I can't tell you if it's interesting or not. And she adorably blushes. Even, even going to the movie theater exciting. I've only never I've only ever seen movies on TV. Well, I'll probably showing is something you can just go anytime. It's not a regular movie theater, and after it's over, he has to fill out a simple questionnaire. That also sounds exciting. I'm glad you think so too. Well, China, this lunch period ends. Oops. I think we need to get going. I'll ask my aunt about the movie but when I get home. Alright, great. See you later. And call me, babe. Next day, I've got a lot on my mind as I'm walking to school along the route Sachi always takes. Hopefully, Sachi talked to her aunt about coming to hang out with me. I wonder what her, what her aunt will say. Sachi doesn't think she likes her very much. Sachi's covered in wounds, but her aunt didn't seem concerned about it. In the slightest when I met her. Maybe Sachi's right. Actually, I, didn't, I did get kind of get that impression. She seemed really cold, although I can't really judge her based on the tiny amount of contact I've had with her, so I don't know if that's really how she is. If her aunt didn't say it was, it was okay, Sachi would naturally refuse. But I still want to take her out, even if I have to force her. Let me pay for her train ticket. If her family isn't supporting her, then that's all the more reason for me to do so. I'm all these things over as I walk, staring at the passing payment beneath me without looking up. And there she is, and she is looking happy. Good morning, Mamoru Senpai. I look up to see Sachi standing before me. Oh, good morning, Sachi. Something wrong? Nothing, nothing. I wasn't looking where I was going, so he surprised me. Sorry. I'm used to having to catch up with her. This is the first time I've heard her call out from behind me. She seems happy to see me. I was wondering if I'd see you while I was walking. My aunt said it was okay for me to spend the day with you, Senpai. She even said she'd pay for the train and lunch. Really? That's great. Yes. I was preparing for the worst. This is a little unexpected. So the aunt does like her. I mean, she cares for her enough. I mean, a little bit. I'm looking forward to sun I'm looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, me too. Speaking of which, I hear the movie is actually based off some German novel. Continue chatting about the movie, what we'll do that day, and other little things until we arrive at school. Sachi seems to be more excited about this than I thought she would be. She doesn't even know that much about the town we're headed to. Sunday. Ah, oh, fast forward. <laughs> Sunday, the day I'm going out with Sachi. We decided I would meet her at her house. It's so close to my own. I had, had some time to spare, so I arrived at Sachi's house a little earlier than we discussed. Oh, I'm waiting. She needs to get ready. I ring the doorbell. After a little while, I hear soft footsteps approaching shortly before the front door opens. Ah, oh, we're standing before we done Sachi, her aunt Mayumi. It's not like I wasn't kind of expecting this, but I'm surprised nonetheless, and my body goes rigid. Good morning. I'm here to meet Sachi. Good morning, my mother. I heard all about it. Feels like Mayumi is searching for me, searching me for something with her icy gaze. Come on, Senpai, you're here early. Sure enough, Sachi appears behind Mayumi. It seems like she's ready to go, but she looks between Mayumi and me with a troubled expression. I think Sachi's more surprised than I am that Mayumi answered the door. But Mayumi pays Sachi no mind as she stares at me and begins to speak. The movie ends, the movie ends in the evening, right? Once the movie's over, come right home, okay? Right, we will. I wasn't planning on staying out late anyway, but the warning look in her eyes is a little unsettling nonetheless. Alright then, off you go. 
And off we go. Thank you for sticking around for this movie. Uh, movie? Video. So, I was sort of hoping to see if she would dress up. She didn't dress up too much for this outing of the movie, I suppose. But I was hoping for something, you know. But stop here. Um, continuing on next time. Going to a movie theater. Going to out to eat. Going to date our beautiful, cute little Cyclops. So, thank you for watching. Leave likes and comments below. Um, if you have any visual novels you want me to look at, please put them in the comments below for suggestions. Subscribe for more continuation of this vi uh, visual novel itself. And for additional videos, cooking, unboxings, everything that I'm doing in my life. So, stay tuned. Ciao.